Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I would achieve this. Uh, go this far in the police department. Uh, all I ever wanted to do was become a New York City police officer and help everybody out. Meet the newly minted executive officer of the Patrol Services Bureau, a commanding officer with the 43rd Precinct. His promotion to two-star assistant chief makes him the highest ranking Dominican American to serve with the New York City Police Department. I'm just truly, truly humbled and honored uh, to, to be promoted and, and still continue to serve this great community. He was joined by host Bronxboro President Ruben Diaz Jr. for his annual Dominican Heritage Month ceremony held this year at Grand Slam Banquet Hall, where owner Belkis Laura was also recognized. It is a great honor for me to get this honor because uh, I'm proud to be Dominican. So this is about Dominican heritage. And even though we live here, but uh, I have my Dominican flow and uh, I'm very proud to be Dominican. We are stronger, we are better as a borough, we are better as a city because of the contribution, the commitment, the hard work, sweat, blood and tears of the Dominican community. They're so vibrant and energetic and just industrious and, and they just give so much to the community. And we're all one family, so whenever it's time to celebrate somebody, we all get to celebrate. I came in from the Dominican Republic in 1981 and I started in the hardware business. Honoree Rudy Fuertes went on to manage his first grocery store in 1984 before rising to become president of the National Supermarket Association, an organization that advocates in Albany on behalf of his customers, many of whom live in the Bronx. We have a supermarket here in the Bronx, in Chester Avenue with Fitelli, uh, also in 233rd Street, Boston, all over the Bronx, and uh, now opening uh, one in uh, Gong Hill Road. And she's a rising star in the New York State Assembly. The Honorable Carmen de la Rosa shared with Diaz Jr. and Univision's Giselle Tejeda that she faced her fears and won, and now she wants other women to win. She created a task force to address the high number of suicides in her community with the goal of creating programs. And among those cheering her on, her colleague in government, State Assemblyman Victor Pachardo, who's also a Dominican American. Our story is about beating the odds and doing something positive, not only for ourselves, but this nation and contributing positively to, to the American dream.